Now we're going to show that regular languages are closed under the star operator. So if you remember what the star operator does, let's say you take a star. This means it takes any combination or any number of A's. So this would take A, 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 and so on. So let's imagine that we start with this finite state machine. So we have Q1 as the start state and it has two end states. So to create an NFA that accepts star operator, informally, here's what we're gonna have to do. First of all, we're gonna create a new start state and we're gonna call this Q0 and this is where we're gonna begin and we're gonna do like we always do and send it directly to the old start state with the empty string. So this can just go naturally. But because this is a star operator and we wanna be able to accept the empty set, we're also gonna make our start state a final state. All right, so now we're inside our machine. Now at this point, we just want to do what the machine does. And if it accepts it, since let's say we have A going here and then we have something like BC going here. So uh, let's just say A here. So we want to accept A, we want to accept A, 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 and so on. So how we're going to do this is we're just going to loop the final state back to the old start state using the empty transition. And we're going to do this for all of our old final states, which are going to stay final states as well. So what this empty straight transition is going to let us do is it's going to let us loop. So when we can loop, therefore we can do the star operator and we can take multiple combinations of them. So for example, let's put those letters back in. Let's do A, B, and C. Now, if we're taking the star of this, this means that we have two outputs that are accepted initially. We can either do A or we can do B, C. So we can take any combination of them. So we could do A, A, B, C, B, C, A, and this should be acceptable. And because of the loops that we've added, now we can do A, A, B, C, B, C, A, and end up at our final state. So formally, how are we gonna diagnose this? Or how are we going to, uh, give this a definition. Maybe a diagnosis isn't the best word for that. So we're gonna call this new machine N. It's gonna have five different parts like always. So uh, we'll just do this in green. So N, we're gonna say it's Q, it's Sigma, it's Delta, Q zero is the new start state and we'll end with F for the final states. So how we're gonna define Q, is it's just going to be everything in Q1, our original machine, but we did add a new start state. So we're gonna add Q0 to it. Our alphabet is just going to be the same as it was before because we're using the same symbols. We're going to now have Q0 as the start state. And for all of the final states, what's going to happen is we're going to take all of our original final states and then we're going to add our new start state Q0 as a final state. So what's happening now in terms of the transition function? So it's going to do a few different things. So it's gonna take in a state, take in an input, and what are we gonna get here? So let's ask ourselves, if it's just, let's say we're in the machine, Specifically, we're in the original machine, in the blue machine, and we're not in a final state. So let's say this doesn't happen. What should we do? Well, if we're in M1 and we're not in a final state, we should just do whatever we should be doing in M1. So this is just going to be the transition function for Delta 1, for our original machine. So our new machine, old machine, that's what we're going to do when we come into those cases. Now, what if we end up where Q is in the final state, but the input we get is not empty? So what this means is that say we're like here, we're just after A. Well, we still wanna do whatever the original assignment function did. So D1, Q and A, it's going to be exactly the same thing if it's not the empty string. But what if it is the empty string? So now this is gonna be a new case so we're in F1 and the input we're reading is the empty string. 
Well, now we want to do whatever we originally did. So we're going to say delta 1 QA, but we also want to send it somewhere else because if we take a look at this bit right here, we're sending our state back to Q1. So we want to do whatever the original assignment function said for M1, and then we also want to send it to Q1 as well. So we're getting two outputs for this. Okay. Um, so now we just have to deal with what's happening out here because we don't know what we're doing with Q0. So let's say that, uh, we'll do this in green, why not? So the state we're in is Q0 and we're reading the empty string. Okay, well, this is pretty straightforward. If we're reading the empty string and we're in Q0, we just wanna go to Q1. That's the plan here, we go to Q1. Now, what if we're at Q0, but we read something that's not the empty string? Well, if we read something that's not the empty string, we don't wanna be going anywhere, so we want it to reject, so there'll be a failure here. So this is going to be the formal description of the NFA that shows the star operator. So now we know that regular languages are closed under union, concatenation, and star. So we can talk about regular languages in the future and talk about how we can convert regular strings into these NFAs.